Are you serious? Are you serious? Potentially hazard asteroids, space rocks, larger than approximately 100 meters that can come close to the Earth. In the diagram that you're looking at of the inner solar system, all of the fireballs orbits intersect at a single point, Earth. The orbits, of course, are color-coded color co uh, by velocity, red being the fast one, blue being, of course, the slowest. So what you're looking at is asteroids that keep coming back around. This is their orbit, and they all have the same intersection, not at the same time. But they all intersect at Earth. And at some point, they will collide with Earth. Not, all, not, not tomorrow. Maybe not even this year. But some, this is the ones, these are big enough rocks that NASA is tracking. But there are unbelievable hundreds of them that are not even being tracked. Smaller rocks. And eventually, occasionally, they enter the atmosphere. Okay, and they crash to the earth. And you have an event like we had in Russia in February of 2013. So what I'm telling you is, what NASA is saying, there is a definite uptick in numbers of asteroids that are coming around and are going whizzing by the earth and are getting closer. The numbers of the asteroids are increasing exponentially. The size of some of them are huge. And the probability of a deep, deep, deep impact is inevitable. And then if you grab your Bible and you read, you know it's inevitable. Revelation 8, Revelation 16. It's, it's, it's like there's a burnt, John saw something like a burning lamp, like a mountain on fire crashing into the sea. I mean, we know these things are going to come. They are prophesied to happen. Now, the question is, is this going to be a part of the wrath of God or is it part of the beginning of sorrows? I mean, because if you look at all of the events going on, water turning blood red 22 times in the last three and a half years, dead birds, dead fish, dead cows, dead animals, 694 known events last year alone and 54 events in the month of January of this year. In 24 countries. I mean, so what we're since seeing is Bible prophecy, wars, rumors of wars, nations rising against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms, famines, new plagues, the bubonic plague. Right now, over 100 people have died and it's growing. Madagascar, measles outbreak, America, Chichanga fever. Caribbean islands, Danube fever, China, Ebola, Africa. I mean, these things just keep happening. AIDS worldwide. Are you saved? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Now, Sunday night, Gil Brizard will be our guest. Talk about Planet 7X. Planet X, Nubaru the dwarf star, whatever you want to call it. He is an expert. He has a theory called the theory of planet 7X. He studied ancient documents, spent nine months in China reviewing ancient documents of a great events. Also in Israel, looking at Israeli historical documentation of great events in the heavens. Also Ireland and England and Scotland. And after four years, he overlaid these findings with biblical events in the Bible and they matched. So the question is, what's the next event and when's it going to happen? March 26th, 2015 is uh, a date that he's identified as the beginning of the entrance of this planet X or whatever it is into our solar system. What does that mean? I don't know. 
He has had 12 expert scientists and mathematicians re, re go over his work with calculations, one of which I spoke to. I'm talking nuclear scientists, molecular scientists, uh, expert genius mathematicians. The guy I spoke to has a IQ of 171. He said it absolutely matches. So, I, you know, look, I don't know, but we're going to talk to him. We're going to let him explain what he has found. And it all ties into the Bible. Isn't that amazing? Are you saved? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. You don't want to miss Sunday Night Live this Sunday night. Gil Brazard will be with us. Starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. This will be a powerful prophetic show, and you don't want to miss it. God bless. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days.